All right, it's 546. Alan's here with our weather. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Let's get out and enjoy it today because it's going to change quite a bit for the middle of the week. Uh, you know, I, usually this time of the year, I start, you know, preaching the hydration stuff, you know. You got to stay prehydrated. Start today, even though 94 uh, with no heat index today is going to feel a lot better compared to the middle to the end of the week. We're going to start to prepare for some triple digits and more heat stress as we go now to the middle to the end of this week. So start that prehydration process today, especially tomorrow, and you're going to really ramp it up as we get into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So hour by hour, 80 to a 10 o'clock sunshine. We have a north wind. That's the cold front that moved through the area yesterday. We still call them cold fronts this time of the year. Didn't change the temperature that much, but it took the really oppressive tropical moisture and pushed it down to the south. Neighbors, we had a dew point yesterday in southern Oklahoma at 80 degrees. That is way up there. I mean, that's like significant tropical moisture. Uh, that's now been suppressed to the south. So we're at 94 this afternoon for the high. And by 9 o'clock tonight, we're at 84. Tomorrow's high of 95. The heat index at 103. Uh, 103 is just a hair below a heat advisory. So if those projections even come up two degrees, we're going to be in a heat advisory tomorrow. The actual temperature triple digits Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The heat index at 105 to 109 for Wednesday and Thursday. If that's going to change this weekend, it will drop again this weekend. So the advisories today along the Red River into Texas. And we did have a severe thunderstorm watch for Pittsburgh, Latimer, LaFleur County overnight. That is no longer in effect for those counties, but it's still across the far southern areas uh, near the McCurtain and Broken Bow vicinity where there still could be a thunderstorm or two, but McAllister, Well, Virginia, your chance is very low this morning. Overnight, tomorrow morning, the front that moved through the area yesterday is going to lift back to the north as a warm front, and there will be a chance for a few scattered showers and storms, but it still is only a slight chance. So tomorrow morning early, we'll have a few on the radar. And then late Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, this shade of green still represents a slight chance near Tulsa, but just a hair north, that's a moderate chance right on the Oklahoma Kansas State line area late Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. So these are not exceptionally high probabilities, uh, but we have to watch them nonetheless. And then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's going to get pretty hot. Triple digits. Saturday and Sunday, it lowers again with more scattered shower and storm chances. Right now, those are about a 30% probability for mostly Saturday, Saturday night, early Sunday. So 65 right now. Tulsa's dew points at 61. I don't know if you were outside yesterday about 7 o'clock in the morning and then compared that to about noon in the afternoon, it felt totally different. Uh, 60s and then Bartlesville, that's a real deal 59 right now in Pawhuska, but south of the I-40 corridor, temperatures are warmer into the 70s and highs this afternoon. There will be one or two spots right in through here. Jay Grove, it's the place to be near Fayetteville, will be in the upper 80s, but everybody else lower 90s, including Tulsa at 94. So overnight, early tomorrow, we'll track a few showers and storms. We'll have the radar cranked up tomorrow morning, 95 on Tuesday. Same thing Tuesday night, early Wednesday. Day. And then hello, summertime, 102 to 103, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Over the weekend, it's going to change again. And by the way, bonus coverage into the first week of July. Scattered shower and storm chances will remain.